Hi Capricorn, welcome to your spirit messages for April. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, I decided to bring these, uh, this series back. If you are familiar with my channel, I did do the spirit messages end of last year into the beginning of the new year and then I sort of discontinued them for a while. But if you did participate in my polls that I had on my community page um, recently, Thank you so much. And this was part of one of the options to bring these uh, this series back. So I will be also bringing back the singles love reading. So we'll be doing, I'll be doing general love, spirit messages, singles love reading, and the bonus readings. So it's five readings a month. So uh, I hope you like this. If you do, give me some feedback, comments below, um, and we'll see what we get here for you. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, or Jupiter, male or female watching it doesn't really matter and i guess i could say take what resonates for you um but these are messages so it could be guidance it could be um confirmation it could be however you take it so we'll see what we get for you capricorn and also it could be past present or future um kind of energy also so welcome hope everybody's doing well hope everybody is staying safe at this time all right Capricorn. If you aren't interested in the decks I'm using, um, <clears throat> social media links are below in the description box as well as uh, your playlist, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. All that info is below as well as the pin top comment. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal, if you would like to exchange energy during this uh, premiere only, the super chat is open for energy exchanges or donations. And if you do, thank you. So Capricorn, I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck, clarify probably with one tarot per card. And then at the end, I have these uh, prayer cards here. I got at the Dollar Tree. I got two sets. They're both different, mixed them together. So they are uh, sort of religious in nature, but you could take it as an affirmation if you would like to. So that will be at the end. I will pull you one of those. So let's get three of these for you, Capricorn, Capricorn. Thank you so much, Spirit, at this time. What does Capricorn need to know? Three messages. Okay, here's one. Two more for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn. All right, there's two more. So let's see what we have. We have body changes. I've been getting that a lot in these readings. So maybe because everybody is, if you're staying at home, you're in, in isolation or whatever, you know, maybe time to do something different, you know, with your body, you know, move, exercise, go for a walk or something like that. Self-care. Wow. So self-care self -care and body changes and we have family changes. So <clears throat> if you do have a family and you're kind of stuck in the house, you know, maybe make some changes here to self-care, the family dynamic and, you know, the body changes. So maybe... You know, getting out there, exercising, or doing something as a family, something active um, also. Or something could be changing in your family. So we'll see how all this resonates for you. So let's get three of these. Take care of yourself. Um, make sure you're eating properly, getting enough sleep, moving, exercising. All right, so... Let's get three of these for you, Capricorn. Let's get three of these for Capricorn. Spirit, please, what do they need to know at this time? And we have to be positive. This is coming out in almost every single reading. Your thoughts can shape your experience. Be, sh be So be sure to focus on the positive. And I just feel like this is a very trying time right now in the world. And every, you know, a lot, not everybody, but a lot of people may be getting depressed or, you know, in a negative mind space or lonely, you know, being isolated. So it's time to be positive. It may be by moving your body or doing some sort of exercise routine or just getting out in nature or just dancing or doing something it may help to raise your vibration and put you more in a positive energy. All right. So what is this self-care about? Chakra clearing. So, okay. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself to profound wisdom. And that's the self-care right here. So if anybody is familiar with chakra clearing, 
uh, maybe time here to do, maybe do some guided meditation, plenty of stuff here on YouTube, um, books or just searching the web or something like that to help clear your chakras, balance them out. And that's the self care it comes right under self care. Or maybe some of you need to be more positive about your body. If you, um, have like a negative mindset about your body and maybe time to change that or do something about it, you know, start an exercise routine or, you know, buy some new clothes or whatever here, make some changes to be more positive. I'm getting maybe about your body image. So however that resonates for you. So now we have here, smile, simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. And we do have family changes here and smile right underneath it. So I feel like whatever changes you make in the family or if it's, you know, whatever you're doing or just doing something as a family together, being active during this time, uh, I see a lot of happiness and joy, maybe starting a garden together um, or something like that. <clears throat> Okay, or getting out in nature, going for hikes, something like that. Bring a lot of happy memories, happy times in your family. All right, so and if you can't do that now, if you're alone, then maybe when this is all said and done, you know, then it could be time to make these changes. All right, so let's get three of these here for you, Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, please? Thank you. Oh, so there's three. So we have Milky Way, Perspective. We have Whale, Breach. And we have here Rainbow, Blessings. So good luck, Blessings with the Rainbow. So... What I'm getting here with breach, I always get that energy of like breaking through, breaking through something, uh, coming out, breaking through kind of energy. I'm not getting any negative energy with that. So, um, you know, you can break, you can have this breakthrough, break through whatever uh, you feel like you need healing. If you feel feeling out of balance, you can break through that barrier by getting chakra clearing and doing that self care. In here, you know, and we have rainbow blessings too, and we have more like outdoor energy. So, if you have a family, you know, if you're contained right now as a family unit, um, I'm getting like go outdoors and get some activity where you can, where you're maybe not around other people, even if it's your own backyard or, um, you know, it's I'm in the northeast and it, we have some really beautiful weather coming up. So, getting out there and enjoying the weather in some way, shape, or form is going to bring, I feel, a lot of happy memories and happy times here. And some sort of blessings coming in. In perspective, so again, this is gaining new perspectives. I get kind of like a dreamy energy also with this, with the Milky Way. So it's kind of like that cosmic galactic kind of energy. But I also feel like, you know, gaining new perspectives Maybe, you know, some of you may be becoming more spiritual or divinely connected. Maybe that will help you gain a new perspective if you kind of meditate or pray or do whatever you do here. Um, maybe just to get in a more positive mindset if some of you have not been so much lately here. And also something with your body. If it's your body image, um, you know, this is gaining a new perspective on how you feel, how you look maybe making changes or gaining a new perspective. Okay, this is what I need to do, you know, to change, make changes. Seeing things in a new way, a new light. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you. Capricorn, I do ask Capricorn, if you like my style, how I read, uh, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. And like I said, you'll get about five readings a month. So don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out. And if you do, thank you. All right, so 
Capricorn. Capricorn. What are these body changes for Capricorn, please? Six of Cups. So, so this, you know, this could talk of uh, past, well, past life energy or um, memories of childhood, nostalgia, thinking back on the past kind of energy. Um, <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> for some of you, you know, in your childhood, may, you know, maybe you were affected by how you looked, you know, um, your body image kind of energy. I think I'm choking on the incense. Plus I have allergies and getting like a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Sorry. So let's get one more for that. What is that about? The six of cups. Yeah, it's not a good energy. So I feel like Sorry, maybe some of you, you know, you could have been teased or whatever here as a child, and it really affected how you <clears throat> perceived yourself, looked at yourself, your body image, um, that kind of energy. But now it's time to change that whole outlook um, to get rid of that energy from the past. <clears throat> so what does this self-care about? So the Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands is very active. He's fiery, he's passionate, he's active, he goes out and he goes and gets what he wants kind of energy. So this self-care is about, and I feel like the Knight of Wands is taking action, taking movement, uh, doing something that you're fiery, passionate about. You know, so taking that action here to either get some self-care or clear your chakras or go out, exercise, you know, whatever, however that means for you. That's taking actions on this. So what is this family changes about? Judgment in reverse. So this could be something here where there needs to be a decision for some of you about family changes, something that needs to change in a family dynamic, however that means for you. It could be, it could be anything. So, but the judgment in reverse is about, you know, not really making a decision, um, or maybe some of you have made the decision about a family change. Or someone's reluctant to make a decision. So, to me, the upright, though, always means a judgment call has been made. And I think in the reverse, someone does not want to make a decision here. Maybe there's no forgiveness in a situation. It doesn't have to be your spouse. It could be a family member or somebody that is like family to you. Um, so... Someone, I feel like, doesn't want to make a decision on something. There hasn't been forgiveness. And something has not been resurrected. It could be, you know, friendships. It could be relationships. Whatever here. But let's get one more. Um, usually that angel brings, you know, things together that are meant to be together. So... What is this family changes about? Page of Wands. So this is good news coming in. Fiery, passionate communication. So maybe somebody finally, finally, after a long period here, <clears throat> or this is telling you Capricorn that if a decision needs to be made for a change and you haven't been making it, or you're reluctant to make it, or you don't want to make it here, Page of Wands is about communication. can be good news coming in. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but however that res resonates for you, if you feel like you needed to take action on something or make this, make a decision about a family situation or whatever it is here, friend, family, whatever, um, <clears throat> now is the time to, I feel, make that decision and having this uh, communication and this good news, or it could be good news coming into a family dynamic that has been waiting for some sort of change and waiting for a final decision to be made. And then all of a sudden, boom, it comes in and it's good news. So however that resonates for you. <clears throat> all right. So what does this be positive about? Be positive about for Capricorn. <laughs> the sun. Well, you can't get any in the hangman. So, so the hangman here is about, you know, being paused and, paused and still and stagnant. 
but also gaining enlightenment and new perspectives. And eventually you come out of that hangman pose. And then now you have the sun, which is the happiest card, best card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, uh, happy home and family, growth, expansion, everything with the sun. So here, you know, if you feel, if you have felt like things are stagnant still, <clears throat> for some of you, things aren't going anywhere, but then you kind of gain new enlightenment somehow or um, perspectives and now being in a much happier, happier mindset and being positive, now being positive. So... Again, this could relate to the body changes or if you are, you know, kind of sad, lonely, depressed, the whole situation going on right now, something here will give you enlightenment, new perspective. Something may happen and all of a sudden now, so <laughs> positive energy where all this happiness, like I said, all that energy of the sun. So, wow. So what is this chakra clearing about? Ten of swords. So this is a painful, hurtful ending. So there could have been some sort of <clears throat> painful ending in the past or if there's something coming up that's coming to an end or you're going through that now be sure to heal from that totally heal uh grieve heal vent i mean whatever you need to do here and also chakra clearing may help help you through an ending of some kind if you're going through that right now all right so what is this smile about for capricorn Five of Cups. So this is an energy of the thing of loss, uh, having loss, sadness, sorrow, hurt kind of energy. So if you've been sad or uh, hurt, <clears throat> something here, though, is going to make you smile. So can we get one more? Why is the Five of Cups here for Capricorn? Two of Swords, so needing to make a decision, indecision about something, being indecisive. What else for Capricorn? It could be that uh, being left out in the cold and abandoned. Wow. So it could be that you were waiting on some sort of decision to be made while you were waiting. You know, you could have been left out in the cold. It could be monetary lack or, you know, somebody could have been um, laid off during this time or even terminated from a job and now feeling, okay, what do I do now? And feeling kind of very hurt by this, but something here is going to come in. There's going to be growth expansion and uh, some sort of happiness here. So let's get one more. No, so it could be a new offer coming in. Person, place, thing, job here. If you were left out before of the in the cold by somebody that who was indecisive and it left you hurt, Something or somebody is coming in here with a stable, grounded offer, long-term offer. So it could be a new career, a new love. Um, something's coming back to bring you stability and an offer, which will make you very happy and smile, which will give you more growth and abundance for the future. All right. So what is this Milky Way about for Capricorn? Page of Cups. Loving communication of some kind could be self-love. This could be po doing positive affirmations for yourself, gaining new perspective, building back up your body image and your self-worth, love and value. Also, or some of you actually could have apologies come in, uh, a love offer come in, loving communication of some kind. So let's get one more. I mean, however that resonates for you. Let's get one more. Nine of Wands. So somebody may want to fight for you here. <clears throat> somebody could have gained a new perspective here and now wants to fight for you and offer love. Or maybe if somebody you've been fighting with somebody, now an apology will come in. Somebody gaining a new perspective on the whole situation or seeing a new perspective from the other side. But I feel like maybe there will be apologies here peace, harmony, or this is you, you know, feeling like, you know, if you've been, you know, in the past here with the six of cups, you know, picked on or bullied or whatever here now feeling like, you know, in this energy, like, like mentally kind of beat up or, uh, in some way now gaining perspective and now having, you know, 
saying positive affirmations, building your self-esteem and your energy back up. So however that resonates for you, <clears throat> or some of you need to do that. So what does this whale reach about for Capricorn? Four of Swords, so there's healing, rest, rejuvenation, recuperation. Queen of Swords, so having truth, clarity, standing up for yourself, uh, not backing down, telling it like it is, cutting away things no longer serving. So I feel like here, breaking through here, you know, after a period of healing and now, you know, telling it like it is, standing up for yourself, having truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you kind of energy and breaking down barriers and breaking through after healing. All right. So what is this blessings about for Capricorn? Nine of cups. So wishes, dreams coming true, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So some, if you have a wish or you're waiting for something uh, and you're hoping for something, this is wish granted and happiness and joy and ra rainbow of blessings, peace, harmony, uh, calmness after the storm for some, and the sun shining through because we got the sun here. So blessings coming in for you, Capricorn. And on the bottom here, we have brand new beginning here. Truth, clarity, um, open, honest, truthful communications, conversations, epiphanies, aha moments, sort of victory and success telling it like it is that all that kind of energy of the sword energy so there's your brand new beginning so, right being very successful <clears throat> i feel like wish granted whatever that is for you capricorn all right so let's get a prayer affirmation for you capricorn this is what we have for you what do we have for capricorn please capricorn please thank you so much be still and know that I am God. So just know, be still and know that uh, I think the universe has your back. The universe is in you. You know, you spare it, your angel team, your ancestors, your passed over loved ones. They're always around you, with you, carry them inside of you. God is always with you also and inside of you. And you can always pray, meditate if you choose to, kind of energy, healing. And uh, be thankful and grateful for that energy. All right, Capricorn, best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.